I am narrowing my options. Today I tried another technique. Uh, I was initiating the movement from the bottom uh, with my lats. <laughs> but it didn't feel good. Uh, I don't know if it, that's because the technique is bad um, or it's because I was focusing so much on the uh, lats that I messed up anything, everything else. Because on the footage the 90 and the 95 looks pretty bad. Uh, the chest is collapsed, you know, I wasn't pushing my chest up. I think I just forgot of, about everything else. Then I did 85 and 80 for the wave progression. I tried also different things on them. 85 I was like, I wanted to do like push up style. So I was reaching with my chest uh, to the way down and moving my shoulders forward on the weight up. It also didn't feel too good, but I'm sure it's because I just done it for the first time in my life. It could be even stronger than the retract scapula technique, but I don't know. Uh, on the 80 kg, I want to try just to make sure putting my shoulders down, like everyone says, because since the Christy Benau revelation, I was uh, benching with the shrugged shoulders, and uh, just to make, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just some anomaly or something, and it really feels better with shrugging the shoulders up. When I put the shoulders down, I feel like I put too much stress on my shoulders, and I don't really feel any pros from that. Maybe uh, you have a little bit more arch, but this technique comes from equipment benching. And the equipment helps you on the bottom, yeah? The bottom you don't have to do anything. You have to row the bar from what I know. I never tried uh, row to touch. So you don't have you don't have to use any power to push the bar of the first few inches. And I feel like it's really it, yeah. So you have bigger arch, so it's easier to touch with the bench because you don't have as much of range of motion, but you're weaker on the bottom. But maybe it's just me. I have also really strange arm ratio, so. But then uh, you can see I just did two reps after the 80 kg with also 80 kg that I wanted to try. First one was also the same technique I did the first set, but I want to make sure it's. It feels the same uh, if I was retracting, okay. But then the second set, I shrug the shoulders and I touch around my nipples because my body, for some reason, uh, defaults to touching around my sternum. So really raw, and my arms are strange because I the part between elbow and shoulder is really short. I have short, and the most length of my arm comes from uh, forearm. So that's a really strange ratio. And I had to touch, uh, from I was looking in the mirror, I had to touch around my nipples. So it allows my joints to be stuck. Yeah? Because if I touch my sternum, the bar is in front of my shoulders. Uh, elbows, sorry. But all my body always defaults to that. I don't know why. I have no idea. Today, the last rep, I managed to touch on my chest with the close grip. And it felt much better. It felt much better. Also, it's really strange. You can see the range of motion is much less. I barely go below parallel with the close grip. And if you can see the 1995 or even the 85 set, you can see the range of motion was much, much bigger. I was going almost past the bench, yeah? So, like one inch less range of motion. I don't know exactly why. <laughs> I must experiment with that. I'm really happy that that's happened. I will try something with that. And like I said, I'm knowing the options. I tried almost everything I could. With the shoulder placement, uh, arm movement, elbow movement. So I think I figured out the close grip. I just need to teach my body to touch around my nipples, not my sternum. And I will be good to go. I can finally progress with the strength. Tomorrow I'll do wide grip, but I think I need some rest days. Uh, I think I will do only singles. We'll see how it feel tomorrow. But I want to do like rest day, so single for the bench, something uh, for the back, of course, and light hamstring work because the lunges today were pretty hard. I grabbed heavier dumbbells and I did the same amount of reps. Pretty happy about that, but uh, my quads were burning like hell. I did also the incline curls, and I'm also confused about that because 
and the first set I was doing with my hands pointing like to the sides and the second set I was doing the movement uh, normally like we would do normal standing curls with the dumbbells yeah? and the first set was more like uh, preacher curl so I don't know which one is better I think the second one is a little bit easier but I feel more stretch in the biceps so maybe I'll stick with the second one I don't know it for sure uses more uh, forearms the first one uses mainly biceps I don't know I must think about it and I did like seal rows with dumbbells or whatever, however you want to call it I never did that in my life uh, I grabbed the 17s it's no weight beach weight but when I was doing that I thought I'm like do, doing really partial range of motion like I'm not moving the weight I was concerned that with such a light, light weight I cannot move the dumbbells so I did only two sets of 11 but then I watched the footage and I can see that the range of motion was even too big you know so happy about that I don't know if I will continue with that because the benches on this gym really stupid design because they are going wider um, on the top so where you put your head it's the widest part I don't know why the part for your shoulders should be the widest but it isn't and when I do this like get those rows the bench is cutting off uh, blood flow to the arms so maybe I'll experiment with that I want to see how far I can go with the dumbbells it just lacks the tactile feedback you know because I, all my life I was doing barbell rows and you can feel the touch uh, touch your body with the barbell I don't know if the range of motion is okay this one I don't feel anything I don't know if I did one inch or full range of motion maybe I'll get used to that uh, I talk already too too long you know there are so many things I want to talk I have so many thoughts after each training session uh, I think about it all the time you know? when I go to sleep when I'm in the gym when I'm out of the gym when I'm going to the gym I know it's too much but it is what it is maybe I will have to do something with that see you tomorrow on another bench day